The Toys by Coventry Padmore Read for LibraryVox.org by Claire Leung My little son, who looked from thoughtful eyes And moved and spoke in quiet grown-up wise Having my law the seventh time disobeyed I struck him and dismissed With hard words and unkissed His mother, who was patient, being dead then fearing lest his grief should hinder sleep. I visited his bed, but found him slumbering deep, with darkened eyelids and the lashes yet, from his late sobbing wet. And I, with moan, kissing away his tears, left others of my own. For on a table drawn beside his head, he had put within his reach a box of counters and a red veined stone, a piece of glass abraded by the beach, and six or seven shells, a bottle of bluebells, and two French copper coins, ranged there with careful art to comfort his sad heart. So when that night I prayed to God, I wept and said, Ah, when at last we lie with tranced breath, not vexing thee in death, and thou rememberest of what toys we made our joys, how weakly understood thy great commanded good, then, fatherly not less, than I whom thou hast moulded from the clay, thou'lt leave thy wrath, and say, I will be sorry for their childishness. End of poem. The recording is in public domain.